Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is another uh betting review, man. So we got a fight coming up, man. It's gonna uh Brooklyn Brooklyn, New York, man. It's, it's at the Barclay Center. Uh Brooklyn, New York. Uh March seventh. Just coming up pretty soon as you can see here. You know, scheduled for Saturday, March seventh, two thousand twenty. Uh, but anyway, man, it's Adam Kalnacki versus Robert Horlanius, the Nordic <laughs> Nightmare. And then you said Adam, uh, I think it's Babyface Kalnacki, man. But, uh, anyway, long story short, man, you can see the, the betting odds here, man. You know, um, <laughs> you're not going to make much money just betting a straight bet on uh, Adam Kalnacki, man. This um, and Robert Horlanius. He's a plus uh, 2,200. Not looking so good. I, I I tell you why, man. You know, Robert Helenis, man, he's been knocked out at least uh, twice in his career, man. Some devastating knockouts, man. I think uh, Johan Duopois, uh did a man really good. The French heavyweight, you know. I think he was a former EBU champ. Um... I don't think Robert Holanis was ever an EBU champ. I think he was an interim champ on the WBO, but, man, that was a while back, man. I don't have box rec up or anything like that. But, anyway, um, he did lose to to Bermain Stavern in the Olympics, okay? He's, he's, you know, so he's a good, you know, he's a decent amateur, Robert Holanis. But, um, yeah, man, it's, I don't know, man. His, his last out, the last fight I remember him at being in, or well, the one that was televised was against uh Gerald uh Washington. Um you know, it was a uh El Gato Negro or something like that, the black rooster. Anyway, man, he knocked him out, you know, late in, into the fight and everything like that. Dude's uh, laid out on the ropes. Just like he was against uh Duobois. Um yeah, man. If you're gonna bet anything on him, maybe maybe you wanna do the over, man. But I'm going with Adam Kalnacki. I know Kalnacki has his flaws. Uh, I mean, you can. Yeah, I mean, he's easy to hit. Definitely easy to hit. You know, he definitely has a baby face. He, you know, he gets cuts and everything like that. But uh, the dude has a high motor, man. He's he has a high motor. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a tad bit shorter than Robert Hellenius, but. He's, he's going to be on Robert Hellenius all night, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be on him all night. And he's going to be on on him early. So, for me, I just placed a bet at uh, under un, under uh, five and a half rounds. Robert Hellen uh, uh, Adam Kanaki to take out Robert Hellenius under uh, five and a half, man. So, you know, we'll see what's up with that one. Um... Yeah, man, let's go ahead and check out some other bets, man. Let's see what's up, man. What do we got here? Oh. I want to say, damn, something's up, man. I guess I got to move this down or something. Okay, yeah, I got to move this down a little bit more. Give me a second. We got Scott Quigg. Um, yeah, even money is pretty good. Just uh, Jono Corral. What was it? Uh, Carlo. I don't know this guy's name, man. But anyway, I, I never heard of him. Uh, Scott Quigg did muff him in the way in, man. I, I, I like that, man. I like that, you know. If you guys are getting muffed in these weigh way ins, man, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I'll go ahead and take Scott Quigg, man, up under like ten and a half. That does that doesn't seem too bad. Um, Yuri Fury, he he ain't knocking out nobody, bro. Let's see who who do we have here? Uh, Joey Dueco, I guess Frank Sanchez. They had another like way in scuffle. If you ask me, it was it was fake, man. It's just a little a muff on the chin, you know. I guess that's what everybody's doing now, <laughs> giving everybody little love taps on the chin. 
Yeah, man. Um, Dueco, man, he can he he can move. You know, he knows his way around the the ring and everything like that. But he's pretty much like a a glorified like sparring partner, man. This Frank Sanchez guy. It's supposed to be a decorated Cuban. I've heard, I think I've heard of him before. But anyway, the dude's coming from Cuba. I believe he's coming from Cuba. Um, as far as like the under like eight and a half, like why not? You know what I'm saying? Do the, you might as well do it. You know what I'm saying? You might as well. Uh, Joey Dueco, I mean... It's, he's you know he's he's not really anything special but you know he can handle himself man you know the dude can go rounds okay that's something to think about he can't go rounds he's from Philly um he can you know you know box off the back foot you know he's he's he, he's good he, he's he's really good man he's a really solid opponent man uh F A Ajaba uh, Nigerian, the Nigerian FA Java. You got the under uh, three and a half uh, plus a hundred. Uh, practically impossible to make any money off him with a straight bet. Uh, I think the guy's name is uh, Kojanu, whatever. It's a waste of time. You know, a waste of time, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's you know, they, they, they spoon feeding F.A., you know, a, a job. They spoon feed him because uh, pretty much he's um, he's slow. I think in his last fight, he might have got knocked down or something like that. But anyway, he's very slow. Uh, it's hard for him to put his punches in, in, in together, but but I mean he if he lands something, man, he has some he has some power, he has some thudding punches, man, he has some stunners, he can get you hurt. Uh, as far as the other fights, man, uh, uh, Nicholas Negron versus Albert Alfonso. The grown, I just know he got knocked out by Dominic Brazil. I'm not suggesting that you sub to bet any money on uh Robert it was a Robert Afonso, okay. But um yeah, man, take a look at these bets, man. Let's take a look at these bets, man. Especially in the ones in the UK. If you're from the UK. Let me take a look take a look at them again. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Robert, Robert Hellenius, as far as I'm fighting and everything, um, yeah, man, it's, this is this is it, man. They're really trying to set him up with fight. I always thought he was like food for like Wilder, you know what I'm saying, just to keep him busy. Um, and I, I, st I still, you know, think that way about Adam Kaneki, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is one of the, the opponents that has like the biggest you know name on his record is that Rob is Robert Hellenius. Other than that, uh, when he fought Charles Martin, um, you know he went the distance with him. But um, if he had knocked out Charles Martin, it would have been like very like impressive to me because Charles Martin is a former champ, you know, uh, you know, the, you know, former IBF champ, and who do you, I mean, who did he actually lose to? None other than um, the man himself, man, Anthony Joshua. So, you keep things in perspective. But, all right, man. Uh, thanks for listening, man. Uh, let me know who you're going to put some money on and why. But uh, I'll catch you later. All right, bye.